Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you how we can read very large file into small small chunk of data. In machine learning you might have to work with a really big file with thousands or millions of lines. Please remember sometime attempting to read a large file can lead to a crash if there is not enough memory for the entire file to read at once. Reading the file in chunks makes it possible to access very large files by reading in one part of the file at a time. So now let I show you this practically in this Jupyter Notebook. So I am going to use Iris dataset which is Hello World dataset in machine learning. So let we first import pandas spd. Now let we read our dataset using read underscore csv. Iris dot csv now i am pressing shift enter now you can see our data total there is 150 rows and five columns that you can see over here sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and here is plant which is iris citosa iris versicolor and iris virginica 3 0 1 and 2 which is our target variable now when you press shift tab over here you can see That you can see over here by default value is none so now let me check documentation of chunk size here you can see which takes integer value which is also optional it returns text file reader object for iteration so now let i show you this all practically when we write here chunk size is equal to 10 I want to read this file in chunks of 10, 10, 10 rows. Now you can see over here, it returns text file reader object for iteration. To print chunk, let we use for loop. So now let I copy this once again. Now let I use for loop and using chunk in this data. Now let I print this chunk. Now as you can see here we have provided chunk size of 10. So it is reading 10 10 rows every time. So our chunk size is 10. That's why it is reading 10 10 rows of this particular data set that you can see total 150. It start with 0. So this way we can read the chunks of the particular data set now let me check the size of total data so now for that let i copy this once again so now let i declare one variable t underscore length is equal to zero so in place of this let me find the size t underscore length plus is equal to length of this chunk now let i print t underscore length now that you can see total 150 which find the length of each and every chunk and then we are performing the total sum in this data set total rows are 150 that you can see over here 0 to 149 150 now our data is currently in chunks that you can see if you write like this our data is divided into chunk and it returns text file reader object for iteration that you can see over here when i write data it returns text file reader object for iteration so now we have to concatenate our chunks into back to our data set so first we are reading large file into chunks but at the end we have to concatenate our chunks so for that so here our large file is made up of total 10 chunks now to concatenate we required pd dot concat here i am providing this data now 
let me check this so now you can see we have received our original data set by combining different chunks of iris.csv so please remember if you are using some other data set sometime we required here ignore underscore index to true so sometime we required ignore underscore index parameter to true inside concat method of pandas to avoid duplicate indexes so please remember this now you can see we actually concatenate different chunks and we received data set once again that you can see over here so this way we can read very large file into chunks and makes it possible to access very large files by reading in one part of the file at a time using chunk size of read underscore csv thank you thank you for watching